Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you from Western Rancher here in Mobridge, South Dakota. It's a beautiful store and they got some beautiful boots here. I've been seeing this one around and apparently it's a hit here at Western Rancher. This is a Justin model number 2504 and we're gonna break down the details in this quick impression. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way All right guys, so I am on the road with Phil Giharo of Hondo Boots. We are visiting a bunch of different stores throughout Iowa, Missouri, Nebraska, and South Dakota. Mostly it's South Dakota. We've Visited so many stores, this is the fourth day we find ourselves in Mobridge here at Western Rancher. And I wanted to take a look at this Justin boot because I've seen it at a couple other stores. You know, I sort of, uh, it sort of caught my eye a little bit. And then it's, it caught my eye here as well, mainly because of this orange top, right? And I asked Kim who works here, you know, how does this boot do? And she says it does really well, especially for people like in the ages of 14 to 30 years old. So this is just a kind of new trend with this narrow square toe here. And I wanted to do a quick video about it. So let's break down the details with the rundown. All right, this is Justin model number 2504, also known as the Billet, and it features an oiled rough out cowhide on the foot and the counter. It feels really nice and very durable. And that rough out is in their mocha brown color. We also have what they call a medium square toe, and it looks kind of punchy. This Justin billet is coming in at around 13 to 14 inches tall with a bright orange top with some green stitching and a little bit of green details around the pole holes there as well. For a heel, we got about a one and a quarter bonded leather block heel, it looks like. And for an outsole, we got a leather outsole on there with a Goodyear welt with brass nails alongside the shank. On the inside, it's lined with pigskin on the top, and also you have a leather-lined foot as well. And for an insole, it's a leather-lined foam, non-removable insole that is only leather-lined about halfway through. When you get to the ball of the foot, that's where it turns into cloth. So we got about a half cloth, non-removable insole and half topped with leather. This Justin Billet boot is made in Mexico and it's coming in at $234.95 here at Western Rancher or at Western Rancher's website. Now it's time for me to try on this boot to tell you how it looks and feels. All right guys, so I got the Justin Billet on right now and it feels really nice. I like the orange top. Just look at how that pops. You know, and it feels like it fits really true to size. You know, I would usually go for an 11D if I can't get my hands on a 12B because that's my true size. And this feels comparable to other 11D boots that I've tried in the past. The insole, you got an, a lot of nice cushion there. You got a lot of nice cushion. The only thing that I'm concerned about is the cloth at the ball of the foot. I've tried a lot of cowboy boots that use cloth insoles and it tends to fray over time. And as it frays, you're losing some of that insole and there's really nothing you can do about it. You know, there's really nothing you can do to repair it except for maybe add in a little leather insert. You know, those thin, thin ones that uh, are made of sheepskin and have a, like a little thin piece of cork on it. Uh, so that is my biggest concern about this boot right out of the gate, but everything else feels really, really nice. I like the uh, leather of that oiled rough out and rough out is great as it is, but then when you make it oiled rough out, it, it, adds, a, it adds a leather of weather resistance that you just don't get with other types of rough out. So the oiled quality to this boot is, uh, is gonna be good for those of you maybe who are gonna be facing some more wet conditions. I mean, you don't wanna use this boot in really, really wet conditions all the time, but 
it's good for when you face those situations. I just pulled the jeans over so you could see what it would look like normal, and it looks great. I like the lower profile heel here. It'll be good for walking all day long, and I think it's just a good look all around, especially with that narrow square toe. Here's the POV. What a classic look. I mean, come on. You just can't argue with that toe shape. It's so classic, really traditional, and I'm so glad that so many people are finding it, you know, <laughs> fashionable or just uh, in with their style right now because it's a good look. All right, guys, so I like what Justin is doing with this billet boot. The oil suede, or the oiled rough out, excuse me, is really, really nice. I like the look and the feel of this leather. It's the orange top. You guys know this is personality right here, and it's really cool. And of course, that narrow square toe. Mm. Guys, this toe shape is trending upwards. We've been to so many stores on this trip and so many of them are saying that this is the new toe shape that everybody wants. Uh, you got the lower profile heel as well, which is going to be good for just whatever kind of casual wear, uh, better for walking. The only thing that I'm concerned about with this boot during this quick impression is that cloth part of the insole because it's non-removable. And anytime you add cloth in a way that can't be repaired inside the boot, it's just a matter of time before it frays, rips, and starts to come apart. It's not as strong as leather. You guys know that. So if they just added that leather lining just a bit further, I would feel much, much better about the longevity of this boot. But you guys can do that as well. If you, if you have this boot and you're running into that issue, just put a thin, thin leather insole in there, a thin thing leather insert. It's like super thin, it's like sheepskin, and you got a little bit of cork under there sometimes uh, for a little bit extra cushion, and that should take care of that problem for you when it begins to fray, <laughs> if you have enough room in there to put it. So that's the only thing I'm concerned about, and uh, it is a really cool boot. So if you guys are interested in getting this, guys, you gotta stop by Western Rancher here in Mobridge, or they have a website. I'll link it up in the description. You can also call them if they don't have this on their website, and they will set you up and ship the boots to you. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, let me know what you think of these Justin billets down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Get ready to kill it in the Justin billet. Best move much faster and get your pay down at Western Rancher. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other video up here that I did on the Hondo Tour 2022? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you.